right so in this section let's see about jenkins so in the previous section we spoke about maven and let's just go and check if we have covered all the points of maven or not okay so i have attached this document to download in one of the resources uh, in the previous lecture you can get it from there so we have seen installing maven setting system variables we have understood maven terminologies created a maven project so we have successfully integrated with eclipse we have used maven faces clean compile test and we have also seen the importance of maven surefire plugin and we ran our test with surefire plugin and we have also seen the integrating test ng right yeah and yeah we also seen test ng xml file configuration and profiles also in pom.xml and the lastly we have seen that running selected test with maven commands okay by giving the syntax so which we have seen in our last lecture so you can only target running specific java files rather than full test cases okay and the maven short file reports this i'll cover as part of jenkins okay right so let's talk about jenkins this is one of the most important tool in the software industry no matter if it is for development or testing so jenkins is basically a continuous integration tool which is primarily developed for automation so here automation in the sense just not automating some web views basically automating the daily routine things like you know uh, building the jars or pushing the code into the website and running all your automated test cases it could be anything so whatever can be automated instead of manual testing and that can be done in jenkins so jenkins is a tool does that all operations and we just say that as a continuous integration tool okay now i'll tell you where exactly we use jenkins in our real time when developing our frameworks okay so my first scenario is you have at least a 500 test cases with you and till the previous lectures knowledge you know that you can trigger all test cases on a one single shot either by providing maven command or by running test ng xml file okay that sounds good but even that is a manual work right like providing maven command and hitting an enter is the manual so we want a scenario where exactly tests all should trigger automatically without any manual intervention we should not even give some commands to run the test or we should not even run some files from eclipse to trigger all this okay even that single command triggering also should be automated so that means if you schedule something like all my test cases should run at 2 am in the morning daily okay now for example your scripts may take seven hours to run probably there are some thousands of test cases in real time so by the time you come to the office in the morning nine you have to get the results of all your thousand test cases so that means you have to start execution all this at least two or three in the morning so will you get up and start triggering all this by hitting this maven command now so what we will do in general is create a job in the jenkins and we say that run all this at 2 a.m in the morning so automatically at 2 a.m that jenkins job will trigger and execute all your test cases okay so basically it hits that maven command at 2 am okay jenkins is independent of you know core automating you know your test cases it all it only knows to execute some script to execute some commands okay with a maven command we were able to execute all those thousand test cases now if i schedule this maven command to this jenkins and say run in the 2 am in the morning it simply triggers that command and automatically all your test cases will start executing on jenkins okay so this is main advantage where we real time um, the testing industry sees especially when we are designing framework 
we will definitely have a Jenkins jobs so that we will have one regression job where on trigger it will trigger all your test cases and you will also have smoke job once developer pushes the code in general automatically the smoke suit will get executed okay you need not go and run it manually so once the developer pushes the code and if your environment sees a new code in the code database so automatically jenkins will run you know there are a lot of features to schedule jenkins jobs in all our test cases so that's the main thing and another thing is if business want to see your execution and if your execution results they will not open the eclipse and run the test ng xml file or they will not at all hit a maven commands they just want you know on high level it should be like user friendly right they are not technical now for example uh, let me show you the jenkins uh, window yeah so this looks like this i'll explain you what all the features you see here so this is one job okay so this project have a multiple test cases probably 100 so if you want to run all this you should not you need not pass any maven commands and all all these are internally configured in this project so what all you can do from your side is just click on this link build now that's all all your execution will begin automatically so that way if business wants to monitor or review your test cases they just need not worry about all those technical terms and they did not um, set up eclipse in their machine if they have this jenkins url they can just log in go to that specific job which you created to run all your test cases and then they'll hit this build now and if they want results they'll just click this link and see the results and how they are behaving okay we will talk all this now in coming lectures so that is one of the most you know important scenario where jenkins come into picture okay and also jenkins run on its own server and we need to set java and maven versions to it so based upon the versions we set jenkins run all your test cases on that version now for example um, test ng version is 6 okay so there is some instability with 6 so we want to use 5 so in that case if you change jenkins version test ng version to 5 all your test cases will be automatically in that runs in that specific version 5 now if you don't have jenkins if you want to run in your individual machines so one guy get weird results because he uses latest test ng and he is seeing some failures and when another guy fail get some another reasons because he is using outdated selenium version and he will see some new issues so to maintain consistency and to remove all these dependencies when you trigger your test from jenkins jenkins have its own environment and if you pass just a stable environment there so all your test cases will automatically and always run on the settings what you provided in the jenkins so that's also one of the real times problem you arises and jenkins can help you to solve okay if you work in real time project i hope that you will come across this situation where people say that hey scripts are failing in my machine but they are passing in jenkins because in your machine you have updated your jars but latest jars have some inconsistency in jenkins it's still pointing to the old jars so they are one running perfectly okay or vice versa be the case so that's one of the most future to remember so what else so mainly from business perspective uh, they will see the results from the jenkins so keeping all this in mind i hope you got how importance of jenkins is in our test framework because we will no matter maintain and run and see our results in our local machine eclipse because jenkins if we are execute all our tests in jenkins we will have one common url where we can share to across any member in the team okay if they want to see the results they don't want to have the setup in their own machine like test cases or eclipse or jars they'll just simply go and run this job and get their results okay so if developer pushes the code and he want to know whether any test case is failing because of his latest code 
so he sh he should not or he need not to be cloning all our test cases and running his local machine to check he will simply log into jenkin url and trigger this build now and he will wait uh, for few minutes and see the results how it is behaving okay so it's basically centralized to use across all the teams and geographically as well if there are multiple teams across geographical locations and jenkins help to maintain one common configuration okay so that's pretty much introduction about jenkins so in the next lecture let's start and download jenkins in our machine okay thank you